So we kind of try to stay in our lane on this newscast, <laughs> meaning even on CNBC, we leave the ETFs and the IPOs and the market swings to our friends on the business day. First in business worldwide. But every once in a while, a story from their world really catches our eyes. Like Kathy Wood. She's the founder and CEO of ARK Investment. If you're a big investor yourself, you likely know who she is. And if you aren't, well, you should. Because she's a disruptor. And she's shaking up the investment world. I think kind of Warren Buffett, but for the GameStop Reddit generation, maybe. Kathy Wood sees the future before the street does. What has mutated in your genomic profile? What, what in the six billion bits of code in your genome, what's gone wrong? It's like a needle in the haystack. What's gone wrong? For the first time, we'll be able to identify exactly what's gone wrong. And with CRISPR and other gene editing technologies and gene therapy, along with artificial intelligence. So it's this convergence of DNA sequencing, right. artificial intelligence, and, and gene editing. We're going to be able to cure diseases that we never thought mm. it would be possible to cure, including cancer. Hey, I'm Stephen, and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in this video, I'm reacting to some recent comments from ARK Invest Kathy Wood, who shared ARK's keys to success, a huge prediction about the future of EV sales with big implications for Tesla, some thoughts about digital wallets and cryptocurrencies taking over the world, and the exciting convergence of artificial intelligence and genomics, which could spell the end of every disease known to man. So let's get into the video. And by the way, since I know there's a lot of crypto lovers watching and people who like free stuff, it's your lucky day. For a limited time, you can get up to $250 in free crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. It also helps out the channel. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. Kathy Wood is our guest now. Kathy, thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I'm very happy to meet you, Shep. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, my unbusiness educated self would say you seem to bet on companies, not so much per se, as you bet on the world changing. Do, do you ever worry you're too. Oh boy, what an awkward way to start off that interaction. Now, in Shepard Smith's defense, he did preface by saying, I've got no idea what I'm talking about, but this is what I think you're doing. But this, <laughs> it's like the entire point of ARK Invest is investing in this thematic disruption, okay? They're not investing in companies for their own sake. They're looking at technology. Okay, where's artificial intelligence? How about genomics? What about fintech? What about crypto? It's like, the whole point of ARK Invest is to invest in these changes, these obvious enormous disruptions, the transformations in the future. Nothing to do with individual companies. Holy shit, dude. It's like... Basically, the introduction to this interview is, hey, Kathy Wood, um, so according to my uneducated opinion, I think that what you do is actually the exact opposite of what you do. Kathy is probably going to have to be very delicate in response here, but <laughs> again, at least Shepard Smith admitted, hey, I don't know what I'm talking about, but this is what I think about ARK Invest. I wonder if others have the same perception. Now, I do understand maybe where this has come from. Shepard Smith associates ARK Invest with Tesla. They, they bet on Tesla, but they didn't bet on Tesla because it's Tesla. It's because Tesla combines artificial intelligence, electrification, and a bunch of other technologies all together that ARK Invest see as enormously disruptive. The reason ARK Invest is so heavily invested in Tesla is because Tesla is so heavily involved in these converging disruptive technologies and platforms. Not so much, per se, as you bet on the world changing. Do, do you ever worry you're too early or too optimistic? Well, actually, the way we run our research, and research is the key to our success, uh, we focus on, uh, on uh, it, it's, a, it's called Wright's Law. Mm. Uh, it's a relative of Moore's Law in the semiconductor industry, just giving us a sense of how quickly costs are going to decline associated with new technologies. Mm. And it gives us a really good idea when different um, layers of demand are going to increase. So I'll just give you a quick example. Electric vehicle sales, for example, we think are, are exploding. We think they'll go up 80 percent 
on average per year over the next five years. Now, making a claim like that requires some monstrous balls. Who would have thought Kathy Wood's balls are bigger than yours are? But that implication there that ARK Invest are expecting electric vehicle sales to grow by 80% per year over the next five years, let's bring out the calculator and see what that could imply. In 2019, electric vehicle sales, which unfortunately also includes plug-in hybrids, which in my opinion don't really count, but hey, whatever, that's the stats we've got to go on, 2.1 million vehicles in 2020, about 3.1 million. So let's just cut that into about, let's call it two and a half million, just to assume we're talking about pure electric vehicles. Again, just some ballpark numbers to give you guys an understanding of what 80% annual growth could look like. So we'll put in two and a half million vehicles, pick your own number, I don't really mind. Let's multiply this by 80% growth over five years, year one, Year two, year three, year four, year five, we're at almost 50 million electric vehicles in 2025. Maybe cut that down to 40 million if you want to be conservative, whatever. The point here, ARK Invest are expecting the number of electric vehicle sales to be literally multiples above what the industry is expecting. In fact, there's still some dingbats who are expecting in 2025, global electric vehicle sales will be about 10% of what ARK is projecting. Why? Wow. Because the costs have dropped to a low enough level, and the total cost of ownership today is lower than that of gas-powered vehicles. So we're going to see exponential growth in the auto industry for the first time in 100 years. Wow. So given that, what's next in the mind of Kathy Wood? Well, I think, uh, you know, we've uh, Tesla absolutely is still next because uh, Tesla I'm in other is, sectors, you know, other big yes, stuff. Other sector, yes. What just happened? OK, so the question is, Kathy Wood, what's next? And then when Kathy Wood responds with what's next, she's interrupted. No, no, no. Don't tell us about Tesla. No, we don't care about Tesla. What's next? Completely missing the point that Tesla is next. Now, I do want to emphasize this. I'm not going to name names or any particular YouTubers, but I do watch a lot of content out there. <laughs> and I've seen a number of people that feel like along the way that they've missed the boat. You know, it's, it's too late to get into Tesla. And I've, I've literally made like 400 videos over the last 18 months trying to explain why it's not too late. I mean, I'm still literally buying nothing but Tesla stock today. Why would I be doing that? Because Tesla is the next thing, okay? Tesla's still day zero, okay? They're in the first inning. The robo-taxis aren't on roads yet. The energy business hasn't burgeoned yet. I mean, I know people, it's not exciting. Look at me, right? Like, make 400 videos about Tesla. The reason I keep talking about Tesla is because that's where I see the most opportunity, okay? People get bored. Like, instead of trying to find the next thing, right? Because you think you've missed out on Tesla, maybe just take a step back and actually look at Tesla in enough detail to understand whether or not there's still some opportunity there. I think most people discover there's actually quite a bit of opportunity in Tesla that people are just completely overlooking because they've already seen Tesla 10X in a year or so. They're like, well, opportunity's gone there. Better find the next thing. Not the way to approach investing. Actually look, actually think, actually project, actually analyze, actually understand, and then make your decision. I mean, I don't want to rip on uh, Shepard Smith here too much, but what a rude thing to do to interrupt Kathy when she's trying to explain the opportunity in Tesla is still there and nobody's getting it. But anyway, let's move on. Well, we're very excited about digital wallets. Uh, mm. So Square's Cash App and, and PayPal's Venmo are leading the way here. In China, it was WeChat Pay and Alipay. And we really think that these digital wallets uh, and two-sided marketplaces, merchants and consumers, on, uh, uh, on both of them, uh, are, are going to usurp a lot of the role the banks play today. Mm. It's going digital, going mobile, a little brand, uh, bank branch in your pocket or your pocketbook. Uh, and we're going to do, uh, we're going to have all kinds of uh, financial services uh, available through them, including loans, debit cards, credit cards, stock buying, Bitcoin buying. Uh, so we think that's a huge, huge trend out there. Spot on from Kathy Wood here. In fact, I would take it a step further and suggest that investors who have at least one brain cell, at least one functioning brain cell anyway, would probably do well to completely avoid the traditional banking industry at this point in time. Unless, of course, they like playing with fire and taking enormous risks, like jumping on board a sinking Titanic or entering a house that's currently aflame. Maybe you'll survive. I wouldn't bet on it. We also think genomics in mm. the healthcare space. Uh, we, for the first time, thanks to DNA sequencing, again, costs have come down low enough. DNA sequencing is going to introduce science into healthcare decision making for the first time. We can honestly say that uh, until now, uh, more than half of all healthcare decisions were in some part made through guesses or experiences. Now we're going to have the data. 
what has mutated in your genomic profile? What, what in the 6 billion bits of code in your genome, what's gone wrong? It's like a needle in the haystack. What's gone wrong? For the first time, we'll be able to identify exactly what's gone wrong. And with CRISPR and other gene editing technologies and gene therapy, along with artificial intelligence. So it's this convergence of DNA sequencing, right. artificial intelligence, and, and gene editing. We're going to be able to cure diseases that we never thought mm. it would be possible to cure, including cancer. Oh, is that all? Just curing cancer? Yeah, definitely don't look into the genomic sector, guys. I've definitely never made any videos explaining why I'm very bullish on genomics. I definitely don't believe it's going to grow into a multi, multi, multi trillion dollar industry. I definitely don't believe it's going to change lives and end suffering for millions of people. Yeah, definitely avoid the genomic sector, guys. There's no opportunity in the genomic space whatsoever. Wow. Certainly we'll be able to discover cancer in stage run one. Uh, a lot of companies uh, in Vite, Exact Sciences, uh, are helping us do that. And if we're able to discover where the mutations are, now the technologies are coming along that we'll be able to cure them. In stage one. That's the next big thing, yes. That's incredible. I, I'm so short on time, but, you know, like other trailblazing women, you're a very successful leader in an industry that's really led almost exclusively by men. What, what have you had to overcome to get from where you were to where you are? Well, you know, I've, to be honest, I've loved being a woman in this industry. A huge round of applause to Kathy Wood for not being a professional victim, not playing into the media's hands here and not playing identity politics. This stuff is garbage. I mean, here's the answer they were hoping for there from Kathy Wood. Oh, yes, Shep. It's been so hard having a vagina and bobbies in this industry. I feel so oppressed. The patriarchy is real. So much inequality. I'm so oppressed. It's been so difficult for me to make investment decisions because I'm female. It's so hard, Shep. I'm such a victim. Please, we need to fight. There needs to be more women in this industry. I can't do anything. The patriarchy is real. I'm so oppressed. Inequality is real. Shep, please. I'm such a victim. Please, Shep, please help me. I'm such a victim. All women are victims. Instead, Kathy Wood's like, eh, fuck you. It's actually been great. I'm, I'm investing. It's fine. Like, fuck off with your identity politics. Let's talk investing. And by the way, guys, just for the record, I think Kathy Wood is a wonderful role model for women and men. I don't understand why the media is always doing this identity politics shite, okay? Ask about her investment philosophies, her research, trends, industries, technology she's excited about. Why waste limited airtime with Kathy Wood discussing this horse shit? Uh, it's an incredible industry. The world is our oyster. I remember entering the industry in Los Angeles at Capital Group and saying, wow, I... I get to learn and I'm paid for learning. This is amazing. What happened to our industry, however, is it's gone passive, which is yeah. the opposite of the industry I joined. We're trying to bring active back into the equation because the changes we're seeing uh, from the innovation platforms evolving today are so profound that we really need real research. A little bit of low-key savagery there from Kathy Wood to wrap things up, suggesting that the majority of Wall Street analysts out there aren't actually doing real research. Fair point, though. Otherwise, they'd be identifying opportunities like Tesla. They'd be really concentrated in doing research into artificial intelligence, robotics, genomics, etc. But of course, they're not like, oh, no, Tesla's an automotive company overvalued. So I don't know what else to say. Some folks get it. The majority of Wall Street doesn't get it. Kathy Wood gets it. ARK Invest get it. ARK Invest are doing great research. Rethink X are also doing great research. Shout out to Tony Seba and Adam Dorr. They're doing great research. They're about the only two sources of information that I hear consistently making claims about the future that align with my own beliefs based on my own research. I see research coming out of Wall Street estimating how many electric vehicles in 2025, 2030, and I'm like, oh my God, you guys are just... Hopefully, the world will eventually wake up to the imminent disruptions that are currently taking place. But at this point in time, Kathy Wood and ARK Invest are almost a sole beacon of reason in a sea of stupidity within the stock market. Just to recap, ARK Invest believe that the number of electric vehicles sold in 2025 will be in the tens upon tens of millions of vehicles. Genomics is going to completely transform everything, and I massively agree on that point as well. And digital wallets and cryptocurrency are currently exploding. Let me know in the comments below. One, are you guys invested in the genomics industry or considering it? And two, do you own any cryptocurrencies? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all.
And don't forget, if you'd like up to $250 in free crypto bonuses with BlockFi, use the link in the description. You can also get two free stocks with Weeble and a free stock with Stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.